Hello students, welcome again. This is UTC Elegon team, Uganda. This is our first lecture in ZW card version 2024. Yes, enjoy. So this is our home page. As you see, so you can come here to home. You choose home. So what we want to do is drawing a line. So after coming to home, this is the space where we are going to draw from. So we are going to do 2D drafting using ZW card 2024. So from there you come, you choose a line. So you specify the first point. So this is our first point. Then you can make sure offer mode is on. Then you draw your line up to that point. You type in enter. So that's your line. So from there, after drawing the line, you want to locate its midpoint or the middle point of the line. So you come here to object snap and you see here that the midpoint is on just as the way it is ticked. So you go back here to line and you come to this point. You see it is not here. So you have to enable this object snap. So you come here where you see a triangle. That's where your midpoint is. So you type in enter. Then you can draw here a circle. So you go to circle command, you choose this circle. Still, you look for its midpoint where you see a triangle. Then you see, you draw this circle as you see here. So this is a circle drawn on a line or a perpendicular line. So after drawing all this, we have seen, we have showed you how to draw lines. There's a, what we call a line and a polyline. So if you, you are to draw a line, line, first disable ortho mode, then you draw a line. So these are lines like zigzag lines as you can see. So for these zigzag lines, they are disjoined, as you can see, the way I'm seeing, showing you here. So now you can come back here. We want to do a polyline. We said a polyline is continuous. So you do a polyline from this point up to that point. So when you click on it, you see that it is one, but for the lines, they are disjoined. So what are you going to do? So what we are going to do is that we are going to come here. We type here join. Then you select these lines, this, this, and that. Then you enter. So now you see that it is one uniform. So that's how you can turn a line into a polyline. So we can go back, reverse back. You see that the lines were disjoined, but I joined them using the join command. Yes, that's the join command. So from here, we are going to draw circles. So you come here, you see circles. They are of many types. So we can choose circle radius, circle diameter, circle two points, circle three points, circle turn radius, turn turn. Yes, so we start with the circle radius. So you come here, you do your circle radius, you come down, you do your circle diameter, you come here down. So you see that all that white thing indicates the radius. So you can type there 300, then enter. Yes, so this is your circle diameter. Then you come back, you choose circle two points so before that you can do lines pile lines make sure offer mode is on that is a line enter you go back to line command you do another line down here that's another line as you can see those are two different lines then you come here circle two points you choose this point and that point down so you have come up with a circle touching two points as its name states now the next thing is what we call circle three points so from there you come, you do here your lines. This is your line up to that point. You take it down. You can switch off off mode. You take it that point up that point. So we are going to draw, then enter. So you go back, you choose circle three points. So you come, you choose this point. You choose this corner. You choose also this corner. So that is that one is drawn. It is touching three points. That is the circle three points. Then you come here, you choose tangent, tangent, radius. That's also a type of a circle. So when you draw here a line, and a line, and a line, two lines. You come back here, you select tangent, tangent, radius. Here where you see a circle and line, all those show radius. Specify the first point and the second point. Yes. Then you enter in the circle of radius, 200. So your circle is touching two tangents of the lines. The next point is, as you can press span command, you can see that that's span command. Now you can come here, we have circle, tangent, tangent. 
here we need three tangents so we are going to do this tangent that tangent and that tangent then enter so you come back here you choose circle tangent tangent you come to this tangent that tangent and that tangent so the circle is placed inside so we have drawn all the circles or you can put this circle okay this is not working out okay that's it we have shown you how all circles can be drawn yes those are the types of circles so when you come back here our next thing we are going to draw what we call x so you come here let's first delete all this work you select all of it and delete you also come you select this you select all of this you delete each one then you come here you choose line this line up that line we are still on x so you can draw here your line then you enter you come back you select a line you draw here your line you put it there so now we want to draw an arc touching all these lines so these are three lines we want to draw a type of a arc called three point arc so you come here you choose your arc and you select a three point arc so you select this point this point and the other upper point there enter so this type of arc is called three point arc so you go back here and you select arc then you start you select start center end that's the type of the arc so you just come here if you can draw this line here enter and you come back here you select the arc which is called start center end radius you start you select that point and you put in that type of the arc you can go back here and you choose this point and that point then you choose the center and that is your arc well drawn like that so now what we are going to what they call mirror command you type in mirror you select this object enter you come to this point up to that point so the mirror will appear then it will say select this source object then you say no it has to remain there so that we have mirrored the upper part below now we are going to go to arc here which is start center length that one is also type of an arc as you see here so you can come here you draw here up to this point you select this point and you come up with this arc which is there this is also that type of an arc so we want to remove this thing you type in ucs icon then you select it then you select no origin so you see s icon command then you select no origin so the all of this point grid point will go to that point so now you can delete all these ones you don't need them yes so our next point is we are going to come and what we want to draw is that as you see here these are ellipses ellipses an ellipse is like an egg so these are the type of ellipses we have you can do this one and you select the radius which is 200 you go back you draw this type of ellipse then you choose axis end that one will also be a type of an ellipse enter as you can see that is an ellipse there are three types of ellipses you can draw there's one which we should call the elliptical x and axis ellipse which you can draw here like that all these are ellipses and they are needed so you can delete them and we continue with other things now what we are going to go for is we are going to come here i'm going to show you how they draw what we call a polygon what is a polygon so majorly this polygon before you draw it you have to state the number of sides it has so you can type in here but mostly there can be inscribed inside a circle or circumscribed outside a circle so first you can come here you choose a circle you choose a circle of sun radius then you come here to polygons as you see you choose a polygon so for this case i want to draw a polygon which is eight sided so i come here to this point then i circumscribe it in inscribe it in 
So this is an eight-sided polygon and it is inside the circle. It is inscribed inside the circle. So I can type in pan, I press my work there. Then I can come here to copy command. I choose this circle here, enter. That is the copy edge command. I select this center. Then I copy it there. Then I come here to polygon still. So I'm going to circumscribe this polygon outside the circle. That is what we call circumscribing, putting something outside the circle. So I can say circumscribe. Then I move it until when it only touches the circle from outside. That is what we call circumscribing. This is inscribing. The other one is circumscribing. I hope you guys were enjoying. We still remain the UTS Elegant team from Uganda presenting you this work. ZW card, yes, then you delete that all work. So now you can come here and you choose rectangle. So we are going to do rectangles. So it asks for the length down. So you can put here your length, maybe it's 200. Then you put there 100. So you come up with something like that. Then you zoom in. That is length by width. If length is 200, height is 100. So this is your rectangle. Now what we are going to go for is what we call the offset command. You select the offset distance, which is 10. Then you offset inside. You come up with that. That's what we call the offset command. It can even work on circles. Come, you choose your circle radius. You draw your circle as we have been drawing circles. Then you come here to offset command. Then you select the distance you want to offset it. That is a distance of 10. Then you offset it outside for a distance of 10. You keep on offsetting. So you come up with that after offsetting. So when you zoom in, zoom out, you have something. From like, there, we are going to delete all this work. So you select all of it. You select this circle and you delete that. So from there, now what we are going for is what we call... Uh, we are going to go for trim command. So for trim command works majorly where you are you're having lines coming through and you don't need them so you can trim them off. How does it work? So you see me here, I'm drawing something. I'm just free, free sketching it. I just want to practice, show you how to practice trim command. How you can take off all the lines in case you have drawn them and they are extruding. So you select all the work which you have drawn as I've selected here. Then I type in trim, enter. Then I start trimming off things which I don't want. As you see, so all this thing is getting off. So that is the trim command. So this is how trim command works. After selecting, you come and select the parts which you want to take off. Like that, you delete. That one was not needed. So I've trimmed off the parts which I didn't want. So I can delete all this work. So members, we have used all the commands. We have seen how they work. This was our first lecture. Uh, so now there's an assignment, some work we are going to do here. So as you can see here, this is the work. So you can start with the line. You come here, as the work is here, as I'm pointing to it, you can come here and you choose your line. So this is the line, the baseline from this side. So this baseline is of a distance 800 millimeters. So you can also take it up through a distance of 800 millimeters, as you see here. So you can type pan command and you press your work here in the middle. Then you come here and you choose your CS icon command and you choose no origin. So that ori command will go there. So you come here, you draw this line up. That is a distance of 800 millimeters. You also take this line that side for a distance of 800 millimeters. So now we are going to draw diagonals. You, draw the di you are seeing that there is a diagonal here in the middle. So you draw your diagonal here. You also come here. You do a diagonal from this point up to that point. Enter. Now, there's what we call the offset command, as we talked about. So, type in offset command. You come to this point. 
yes so you want to offset this point you get it yes. you type in offset command as you see so this is your offset command then after typing in offset command you specify the distance which is 100 you select this line you move it down you also select this line you move it down to a distance of 100 you select it you move it to a distance of 100 you also select it and you move it through a distance of 100 yes so you still select this line and you move it up for a distance of 100 then enter so our next thing we are going to go for trim command so you select all this work enter so after selecting all this work you type trim enter so you trim this part off trim this part off trim this 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 off trim this off this off this off then you can also trim this inner lines off as you see you trim trim so it's not getting up just enter then you come you delete 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 these lines off I work here so from here you are seeing that there is a triangle it's sort of a triangle sort of a square inside so you come here you do this line make sure offer mode is on you draw it down direct it down as you see from there now this is our line so you come here you draw this line you enclose this line there enter then you zoom in just hold on your mouse and you zoom it in you scroll and you zoom in so you come here you draw a line here up to this point then you take this line up like there take it up up that point intersects there then you bring it down enter as you can see those are our lines so this is our work we are having there uh, so you can go to trim command you select this point and this then you trim this part you select it and it gets off um, so you see that this line did come out well so you can go back to line command and do a line which is intersecting well so you come here you do a line down you take it down you also come here you draw a line up so fellow learners thank you for being patient with us and thank you for watching this video uh, we thank uh, the chinese government for this special training which we have received here in uganda and other african countries uh, we thank our ministries which responded to this special program to be told to us we also thank in a special way the administration of UTS Eligon, our principal uh, we also thank our lecturer mr namo moiria for the work well done we also thank our trainer who has taught us well today that is mr wang jun thank you for the work well done so this is what we have been able to come up with may the almighty god bless you so this is our work as you can see this is the end so guys keep on this youtube channel keep following for more updates more work is yet to come so now here you can go for dimensioning you select this point down and that point so that is your length which is still 800 we are doing dimensioning you can pan you place your work there then you come back again to dimensioning you choose linear dimension that is also 800 the work is there then you also come back here up to that point then you choose also this linear, linear dimension which is 800 so from there you come here this is a line dimensioning or linear dimension you start with linear dimension dimension this other rectangle in you get these dimensions you also come here this point and you choose linear dimension align dimensions so you're going to, from this point to point and this get this dimension which is 200 millimeters as you can see there thank you very much for your patience thank you
for following up this video up the end.